Then, a medical breakthrough for a mother and wife. This wonder drug could possibly break Laura out of the shell that she's in, or it could kill her. And a shocking confession. Elizabeth is pregnant, and the baby could be mine. I understand. Congratulations are in order. Watch General Hospital tonight at 10 on SoapNet. I'm famous for my crab apple jelly. And people look forward to it every year. Just as I was starting this year's batch, I... I had a pretty big fall. I was lucky. I wasn't hurt badly, but when my daughter and I talked to the doctor, he told us to call Lifeline. Lifeline is the number one medical alert service trusted by doctors, hospitals, and professional caregivers. If I have another fall or if something happens, I just touch this little button and I'm connected to Lifeline. This is Riddell. This is Carl from Lifeline. Do you need help? In the event of an emergency, Lifeline can send help quickly, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. For your free Lifeline information package, call 1-800-290-9137. Call 1-800-290-9137 right now, and you'll also get a free falls assessment guide. Now my daughter doesn't worry so much about me living alone. tell you what to do, love. Why? Because it never works. And besides which, I, d I don't have the answers. You must. You always do. Oh, maybe when you were five years old. Then I wish I were five years old. Or I wish I was a little baby and you'd just take care of me and tell me what to do. Oh, we all wish that at different moments, but only for moments. You've learned to run your own life, and you like it that way. Right now, I hate my life. I hate me. I do. More than Barry, I hate myself. No, not you. What you've done? Oh, if only they'd been on my side, if I only got the sympathy instead of him. I'd still feel awful. Probably. Because, I don't know, it's like, maybe, I, I can't believe it, but it's like I'm ashamed. How could I be ashamed for showing him up to be a liar? I know I shouldn't do it, I know. Maeve, would you go out and see if they're still there, and if they are, tell Bobby to send him home, please? And... What would you be doing in the meanwhile? Hide in here and wish I were dead. Oh, please don't make me go out there. I can't. No? I, I couldn't look at them. I, I can't even look in the mirror. You think I should face them, don't you? That's what you think I have to do. Daddy, I can't think for you. You just have to make your own decision. All right. I will. So crummy. I'm sorry she got me to come. Me too, though it's nice to see you. Trouble is I'm hooked on her. I wasn't. Lisa, I didn't mean it. Not a word, but I couldn't stop myself. I, I just lay there listening to all this vicious stuff pour out of me when all I was thinking was, I love you and I want you to stay, but I, I couldn't make the words match. I, I couldn't... I understand. Yeah, but Jillian doesn't. The last thing I said to her was, don't come back. All right, I'll explain, you'll explain, we both will. She understands about the drug. Will you get me off it? I can't be like this. Okay. I was going to wait until morning, but we can change it tonight. The next shot. I guess I'm about due for one. You feeling some pain? Yeah. Will you, will you just tell me about the new drug? It's the one I mentioned to you the other day. I'm not sure I remember it. It's not going to knock me out. 
It will to a great extent, but you won't have any pain, and when you're awake... And how much would I be awake? It's hard to say. Uh, certainly an hour here, an hour there. No. Ken. Look, I need to be able to talk straight and have conversations. Can't you just give me enough of the drug to take the edge off the pain and then uh, leave me knowing what the hell's going on around here? Yeah. If Jillian and I are together, I want to know it. Huh? Ken, you have to understand, what I'm trying to tell you is that in your situation, there is no such thing as taking the edge off. If you're conscious, you're going to hurt. All right, then. Why don't you just give me an overdose and take me out of this completely? Absolutely not. That is an alternative that is not available to either one of us. I'll try to uh, start you on a minimal dosage of the new drug, but I'm afraid it's going to leave you in considerable pain. All right, well, you just let me try it. Try it, try it, and see how I feel. Please, write the order. And then go find Jillian for me so that I can explain it. Or maybe I should let her go. At least then she'd be out of this mess. She doesn't want to be out of this mess. I'll, uh... I'll get a hold of her. I never should have involved her. <sighs> My sister makes her own choices. You ought to know that by now. Life in the Midwest is anything but boring. Glamorous divas, forbidden love affairs, and backstabbing families. Bay City is nothing but drama. Another World, today at 1 on SoapNet. This is okay, Vanelli. The lasagna was a home run. The espresso was really hot. And that is the prettiest moon I've seen over Manhattan since I was about 16. Praise is good. You deserve a lot. Yeah? I like the way you live. I like your work. And I like what you're doing with your kid. Thank you. Tell me again uh, why you haven't remarried. Basically, I guess because I got it right the first time. I don't need to do it again. Interesting. I feel I got it right the first time, too, but against the odds, because I never figured on marriage at all. Maybe it was Mary who did it right. Mm -hmm. Were you going to say that you got it right, but that you're ready to consider it again? I guess. I don't know. What do I do about Ryan, who ought to have a mother? You're doing fine with Ryan. And you marry a wife, not a mother for your kid. Both. Well, yeah, but uh, in that order of importance. OK. You, uh, you ever been serious uh, with anybody since your husband died? Once. A couple of times not so serious, just fun. But one that might have gone somewhere. Except for the fact he didn't like Matt, and that cooled it. Why? Well, if someone doesn't like my father, genuinely doesn't like him, then he's not going to like me either, on account of the fact that we're very similar people. Why'd this guy uh, go out with you then? Oh, well, my body. But after he became more rational about that, I figured we'd be in trouble. <laughs> I see. You, uh, you ready for cannoli? Oh, yeah. And more espresso? Coming up. You, uh, you drink a lot of coffee. I have a serious addiction to caffeine. But it's the only self-destructive thing I do. Anyway, having one vice and really understanding it makes you a tolerant person. Are you? No, I try to be. The cannoli's on top. Well, what's in the other one? Breakfast. For you, for Ryan, and for... Whoever might be around at uh, breakfast time.
After the doctor diagnosed my son with ADHD, I knew treatment was the right thing to do. He's a smart kid, and he's made a lot of progress. But he's growing and changing, and treatment options change too. I want to keep up so he can keep doing the best he can. To make sure your child's treatment keeps up with his changing needs, call 1-800-611-2350 or go to ADHDprogress.com for your free ADHD progress kit. You'll get a workbook to help you know what to expect at different ages and a progress tracker. Eight tips for working with the doctor to ensure the right treatment for your child's needs. Even ideas to reduce stress on your family. Plus, you can get the latest information on treatment options from Shire. I'm Dr. Deborah Zane. As a pediatrician, I've spoken to hundreds of children with ADHD and their parents. And I've seen as the demands on children change, homework and schedules get more challenging, that the treatment that was right yesterday may not still be right today. That's why it's so important to keep up with changes so your child can keep making progress. If there's something else out there that might work better for my son, I want to know about it. For your free ADHD progress kit, call 1-800-611-2350 today or go to ADHDprogress.com. The kit includes unique tools created with the help of moms of children with ADHD and doctors to help your child keep doing the best he can. I'm glad I got the kit. Now I know what to ask the doctor. No one ever said it was going to be easy. So why not get all the help you can? Keep up with ADHD so your child can keep making progress and get your ADHD progress kit today. All right, all right, I am depressed and I am frustrated. Good, now tell me about it out loud. I am depressed because Ken George Jones is dying and I am frustrated because I can't help him. When you consider all the mean-spirited, joyless souls walking around in healthy bodies, it seems like such a hell of a waste. Okay, agreed. What else? Delia. Okay, on. Come on. Delia is at the Crystal Palace celebrating the humiliation of Barry Ryan. And you don't approve? I do not. I view the entire act as being manipulative, childish, and ever so slightly cruel. You don't see it as just a little bit funny? I am not amused, Ray. Well, I'm sorry, Roger, but I am. Did she really invite all of his ex-wives and mistresses? All of those whom she could catalog. Well, I sure do wish I'd been there. Well, I can't go that far, but I wish I knew what happened. You see, part of the problem is that I'm the one that put Delia on Barry's trail, and I feel guilty about that because Barry is a friend of Ken's. You are such a deliciously complex creature. I really do love you, Roger. <laughs> Thank you. Usually, I love me, too. Well, I can't stand any more of this, so I'm going to cheer you up. I'm going to tell you the story of Richard Algren and Michael Poff. And who is Richard Algren? Bill's tailor. We have called him to come over this afternoon and measure Michael for a wardrobe befitting my executive assistant. Don't. Michael had just threatened me with a shopping expedition to Barry's, the uh, Brooklyn haberdashery. <laughs> Roger. All right, Roger. Good evening. How nice to see both of you. Thank you. Thank you. My, my, what's that all about? They were at Delia's party. A certain mad genius does go to work when Delia puts together a guest list, doesn't it? Aren't you go over there and find out what happened? No. Yeah, that would kind of indicate an excessive amount of interest on their part. Precisely. Wonder where Jill is tonight. I... I haven't told you this. For two reasons, Ray. First, I thought they could get it all together again. And secondly, because it makes me so mad and sad. And I have... I haven't been in mood for any in-depth discussions, but... Frank and Jill are no longer engaged. The wedding's off. Permanently? Yes. How? Why? Jill backed out, didn't she? Frank did. For what reason? All right. You're going to hear this eventually anyhow, and maybe I can say it in such a way that it's fair to Jill, but Ken George Jones asked her to represent him. She agreed. He fell in love with her, 
And he spent months giving her the opportunity to fall in love with him. And like I said before, he's an exceptionally appealing person. They became lovers briefly on a trip to London. Jillian? Yeah, and she broke it off when they got home. But then she discovered that he was dying. He collapsed in her arms backstage his stage at his concert the other night. And Frank questioned what was going on. She told him the truth, and it was over. Uh-uh. No, I was right the first time, Roger. She broke it off. When it came down to the wire, she went out and found the one thing that he would not be able to forgive. Why can't he forgive her? She forgave him for, for loving you? Frank is Frank. I'm sorry, but I've spent a lot of time thinking about the Jillian Coleridge, Frank, Ryan, longest established, permanent, floating uh, relationship. And I think I understand the both of them damn well. It's undoubtedly true, man. You know what's funny? Really funny? I can't help wondering if this moment, what would be happening if I had had the sense to get rid of the Sam Snow, Ryan for vice president file? Why the hell did I leave stuff like that lying around? Well, I don't know. What's the matter? The cassette. What cassette? The cassette. Your cassette. My confession about Tom's death. Well, what about it? I didn't destroy it. It's sitting in my breast pocket in the suit I was wearing the day that, that you gave it to me. At least I hope it is. Where's the suit? Hanging in my closet. Well, you're all right then. Just go home tonight and get rid of it. Yeah, I certainly will. Uh, as a matter of fact, I want to do it right this minute, all right? Oh, that's fine with me. In fact, I insist <clears throat> on it. <clears throat> the uh, check, please, Fred. Yes, Dr. Cole. And the one thought that I can't tolerate right now, the straw that would... Faith found out that I was responsible for Tom's death and that I altered the medical records to keep her from knowing it. Roger, while he's doing the bill, would you mind terribly uh, if we went over and talked to them? Certainly not. Oh, relax, darling. Your cassette is safe and uh, so are you. Not yet. We're having sea bass and lemon chicken. The other choice has to be eggplant, right? Not for me. No <laughs> Do you no, mind I if I uh, interrupt you for a second? Did you enjoy your dinner? Enormously. Ray, how are please, you? It's good. Please sit down. All right. I just wanted to say that I'm terribly sorry to have heard about you and Jill. I wasn't surprised, but I'm sure you were, and I know how hurt and angry you must be, and you've got my sympathy. Not very subtle, but who cares? I beg your pardon? The ginger pork. As a matter of fact, it's marvelous. Subtly be damned. Now that uh, that obstacle to your career has been removed, if you are interested in a political re-entry, please let me know. You can count on my support. Politically speaking, of course. Night. Wasn't that a trifle heavy-handed? Nonsense. I'm entitled. Yeah, well, you are further entitled to an escort home, but if you'll excuse me, I'm going to run, not walk. I'm going to run back to the apartment and get in my closet. Okay. With my blessings. Thank you for dinner. Thank you. Flash fry in peanut oil. What? Ray Woodard. It's interesting. I felt much more defensive for you than I did for Jill. Have you spoken to her? No. And when we do see each other, she's resentful, I'm angry, or it's the other way around. Either way, it's not good. And I don't think either one of us needs that right now. No. What about Ray Woodard? Did she mean what she said? Oh, yeah, I'm sure she did. Would you allow her to support you? Purely politics, of course. Of course. No, I, I don't know. It would depend on who and what and where. Probably not, though, but never say never. I like that expression. Yeah? Yeah. 
leaves all kinds of possibilities, flexibilities, hope in general. Well, here's to hope. Here's to possibilities. breakthrough for a mother and wife. This wonder drug could possibly break Laura out of the shell that she's in, or it could kill her. And a shocking confession. Elizabeth is pregnant, and the baby could be mine. I understand. Congratulations are in order. Watch GH weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Bo Brady, loving father, or drunken mess. Get the full story on Days of Our Lives, tonight at 11 on SoapNet. America loves the view. It's bold. <laughs> Rosie rocks. What's all the fuss about? Over 4 million viewers agree. The View's 10th season takes the cake. <laughs> it's a whole new view only on ABC. Basic health care for your family can be hard to afford. Doctor visits, prescriptions, glasses. They all cost a lot. What can you do? You can go without. You can pay full price. Or you can do what I did, get the Health Saver card. This one card can help cut out-of-pocket health care costs for you, your spouse, and your kids for under 20 bucks a month. I just show the card for instant savings on doctor visits, dental care, prescriptions, vision care, vitamins, and more. You can use Health Saver as much as you want. With over 400,000 providers, it's easy to find the care you need. The Health Saver discount program costs just $19.99 a month. During this special TV promotion, try Health Saver for 60 days for just $1. There's no limit to how often you can use the card. You can cancel at any time and owe nothing further. Call the number on your screen or visit our website to sign up and start saving. For $1, you can try Health Saver. See how much you can save and if it's right for your family. It's that simple. If you're serious about losing weight and getting into the best shape of your life, You've got to have this free DVD. You'll see how the Bowflex Tread Climber Machine burns up to twice the calories of a treadmill at the same speed. The Tread Climber is definitely not another treadmill. The dual action treadles allow you to move up as you move forward to give you twice the workout in one easy, low impact motion. Call for your free DVD now and see how you can own the Bowflex Tread Climber Machine for zero down and payments as low as $24 a month. Why run when you can walk? This is cardio. It's amazing how much I feel it in my core. This is the best 30-minute workout I've ever had. Greg Duplessis lost over 33 pounds, and Maddie Neal lost 50 pounds of fat by walking on the Bowflex Tread Climber. If you're serious about getting into the best shape of your life, call or go online and get your free DVD right now. Bowflex Tread Climber. Be lean. Be fit. Be Bowflex. United 93, verify your level of three. United 93. I am on a plane that has been hijacked. Whoever's around at breakfast, like me. You inviting yourself to breakfast? If so, that's nice, because you're uh, very welcome. Uh, no, wait a minute. Uh, if I'm reading this correctly, uh, you're assuming I'm spending the night. Is that so unthinkable? No, I've been thinking about it since before dinner. I just don't like the assumption that it's going to happen. I'm sorry. No, you're not. 
Not about the assumption. I'm sorry you're offended by it. I just don't like someone projecting my behavior and then taking action on that projection without consulting me first. Don't you think you're somewhat pretentious and more than a little humorless about one little cinnamon bun? <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm many things, but I'm not pretentious. Oh. I don't like being taken for granted. I decide what I want to do, and then I let you know. And then you tell me what you want to do. Uh, we work together. Yeah, well, it seems fairly clear what you've decided to do about tonight. It is not. Sure it is. What have I decided to do, then? Pick a hell of a fight. Don't turn it into my fault we're not getting together. Well, it's sure not mine. All I try to do is be a little hospitable and get you your own roll in case you stayed for breakfast. No, that's not perfectly honest. Actually, what I tried to do was not have to share my roll in case you stayed for breakfast. Okay. So, now you have two. Thanks for dinner. Anybody ever tell you excessively belligerent? Oh, lots of times. Obnoxious, too. They were right! Next, seduction rules the bedroom and the boardroom on The Young and the Restless. Then it's All My Children, followed by One Life on Soapbed. Get your Y&R fix five nights a week. I'm going to make you the happiest woman on the face of the earth. Same day episodes of Y&R, coming up next on Soapnet. What makes five so prime? It's primary. Yes. Isn't it incredible? It's primal. I want to take you home. And it's prime time. Why didn't you say something? Soapnet's got five of your favorite soaps five nights a week. The dream come true. Starting at 7, don't miss The Young and the Restless, followed by All My Children, One Life to Live, General Hospital, and Days of Our Lives. Soapnet's primetime lineup tonight starting at 7. Saturday, it's Macy's One Day Sale. With great savings on fashion, accessories, home, and more. Macy's One Day Sale, Saturday with a preview day Friday. Shop early. Macy's Way to Shop. Rated T for Teen. You know you like to watch. Now it's time to play. Move on to Wisteria Lane as the newest desperate housewife. Make new friends. Join the garden club. Visit the neighbors. Experience new secrets, lies, and scandals. Play the new Desperate Housewives game. Being bad never felt this good. Available now for your PC. If there's one thing dogs love, it's meat. That's why we made our healthy nuggets even meatier. Crunchy on the outside and meaty on the inside. New healthy nuggets, only from Pedigree. You want to walk some more? Oh, I can't walk. Hmm? I can barely drag myself up these steps and sit. It's fine with me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did eat too much. It's a grand evening, isn't it? <laughs> you just sounded like your mother there. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Aha, yeah. uh -huh, Francis. What a grand evening it is. And there's your moon. And there's your star, Francis. <laughs> you know, if you ever want to give a kid, have him grow up with a real solid sense of his own importance, just give him the universe. Give him God. Give him his physical world and turn him loose. Sounds good to me. No one ever gave me the moon. <laughs> Well, it worked fine until Patrick came along, and then it turned out I was supposed to share it with him, right? <laughs> oh! It needs oiling. What's that, lady? It's rough. Ah, I agree. The third one's empty, Len. Okay, move along, Charlie. What do you got here, bricks? Oh, no! Lenny, bring the brooms! Yeah, I'm sorry about this, but it happens sometimes. Hey, we noticed. We noticed. Hey, this ain't so bad. 
You got neat garbage, man. Yeah. <laughs> you should see some of them. Here some you of the are, you cuts here. Hey, I never claimed to be perfect. Do you remember what Casey said about one of his baseball players? He said the guy is a great player, he's great, he just has a little trouble whenever the ball is in the air. So you guys are great sanitation engineers, you just have a little trouble.